Hey everybody, this is Patrick Zielbauer from Infinity Futures. Thanks for taking a look here today. It's Friday, November 15th, about 7.30 a.m. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions lately about how to keep up with the advancements we're making to AT charts. So as I promised in this channel, we would also be talking about technology and other aspects of Infinity and your account with us and how to stay connected and such, in addition to trade ideas and, 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 and the like. So here briefly, let's just talk about some of the changes that have come through on the charting and how you can keep up with how those changes are coming through because they're coming uh, fast and, and furious every week you know there's new stuff coming out so basically if you look under the studies window or the tab at the top you'll see that the, some of these studies have the word at at the front notice there's a colon at the beginning we're doing that because we're adding new studies and the colon keeps them at the top of the list so eventually these will be integrated in with the rest of the list but as we are putting new stuff out there, so it's very easy for you to see what's coming or what's been released, they're gonna be at the top, all right? So right now I've got, this is kind of like my template. I actually have a view here that is called PZ1 with, with that I created, and it's a series of studies, and the studies that are on it are the NYSE tick, daily open, high, low, close, the previous open, high, low, close, the super trend, the MP indicator, and then two instances of the CCI, which are at the bottom. So the way that you can create these views is by adding the studies that you want individually and then you go to the views section and hit save view and then you just name it something and then once you name it it'll show up in this view and you can switch back and forth really easily now i've actually got a few tabs open so i've got another view here uh, that's called rm trading that is based on a customer of mine who created you know this template and then i've got one here that is based on simpler trading which as you may have heard a lot of their stuff is now being built into at charts as well so it's really easy to maintain sort of collections of studies and these are held server side. So if you access them from another device or from your phone or something like that, you should be able to bring them up, bring up, bring them up anywhere with, with, with ease. Okay. It's really, really simple, but just to go through a couple of things that have, have changed, let's just go ahead and clear everything off this chart for a second. So I'm just going to remove the studies like this and you can see now they're all gone. And now we just have the, the basic chart. So, the the most recent things that were added were the daily open high low close which is just as it sounds the daily open high low close study and what you can do is you can actually hover over it or go to the study section and click on it and you get this interface here which should be pretty self-explanatory now if you're looking at the daily open high low close which is today's info you may want to remove the close option so as an example i could just uncheck this box and you see the purple line, which is the close of today, which is really the current price because the day hasn't ended yet, disappears. So you can make changes like this. So you can actually check the box and uncheck it this way. Okay. If you want to see the values in the Y axis, okay, that's what these numbers are here. That's what this little checkbox does here, show values. Okay. So all the studies have inputs like this for colors and settings and such. It should be very, very simple and self-explanatory so that's one example and then if you go here and look at the previous open high low close okay same idea except yesterday's data what i typically would do with this one is make the color settings just a little bit different i usually would remove the open and i guess i would leave the close on there so i could see the previous day's close but as, as an example i might make the color scheme uh, just a little bit different so maybe i'll make this a light green more pale red here and then the close something like this so i can easily differentiate when i look at today's data between today's lines and yesterday's lines so really really easy to manipulate uh, some of the other things we added were the nyc tick you may have heard that already that's not going to start printing for another 50 minutes at 8 30 central but um, it you know it is available and you can just add that from the studies list as well we did add a pivot point study okay the pivot point study is really neat because you can control the start and end time so you can I have here the default, which is from 5 p.m. Central Time until 4 p.m. the next day. That would give me a pivot point based on the entire 23-hour session. So you do have the ability on the chart to control which lines are visible, okay, and what the color scheme is, whether the values are visible, as well as the starter end time. So, for example, if you want a pivot point that is only based on 8.30 to 1,500 hours, which would be 3 p.m., for example, or 4 p.m. Eastern, 
then you can do that. So you can see a pivot point based on only regular trading hours, or you can see a pivot point based on 23 hours of, of trading, okay, the full session. So these are the kinds of things that we are frequently adding. We are getting lots of inquiries. It's great. We appreciate it. What we're doing is aggregating this feedback, and we're seeing how many of the same requests we're getting. And our developers are, are working almost 24-7 to crank this stuff out. We, we are highly optimistic as to the direction of this thing is going. Nobody at Infinity, for example, has been more bullish on our complete offering than we are right now. So I hope, I hope everybody's feeling the same way. We're energized about it. Uh, we love the feedback. We love the questions. Please feel free to uh, have your buddies check things out. If you're using the charts uh, in a demo account, if you have questions, make sure you reach out to us. If you're a live account holder and you wanna have access to this, we can easily make it happen for you. We are, we, uh, we're very happy that uh, you're considering Infinity, that you're already using us if you're already a client and that you're giving us input. It's highly valued. So thank you again. Uh, don't forget to tell your friends about the YouTube channel. I'm gonna have more content out here, maybe even some more later today uh, with some actual trade ideas and some other things to consider. Uh, but we also wanna keep you apprised of our technology uh, changes and, and uh, you know, the drive we've got to make this thing better and better every week. So thank you again for your input. We'll talk to you soon.